We welcome YouTube Explorer. You can have a great adventure now. You can learn 20 things about the USA that you may not have known until now. The AI will navigate you. Meaning of the flag, Texas, Florida, Alaska and New York provide interesting information for you. You can learn a secret about Independence Day. How long does it take to eat 100 acres of pizza? If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. The flag of the USA consists of 13 stripes representing the 13 original colonies. The 50 stars on the flag symbolize the 50 states. Massachusetts is the healthiest state in the U.S. North Dakota is the U.S. happiest state. Fast Food Nation. On any given day in the United States, about 84.8 .8 million adults, 37% of the adult population, consume fast food, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Technically, you don't need a driver's license to compete in NASCAR. Even if you've had your driver's license suspended for breaking road rules in your daily life, you can still go for gold in NASCAR. The U.S. has a lot of tornadoes and hurricanes. A staggering three out of four tornadoes in the world wreak havoc in the United States. The country has had more hurricanes since 1851 than any other country, close to 300. Columbus never set foot on mainland North America. Most people think Columbus landed in North America, but what you probably never learned about Columbus is that the explorer never set foot on the mainland. The only New World sites visited by Columbus were the Caribbean islands and parts of Central America and South America. Americans eat around 100 acres of pizza every day. Americans love their pizza, so much so, that they collectively eat 100 acres of pizza every day. That's around 300 billion pizzas a year. The most popular time to order pizza is around the Super Bowl. The Empire State Building has its own zip code. The Empire State Building is so big, it got its own zip code in 1980. So if you ever find yourself needing to go to an address with the zip code 10188, you're headed to the Empire State Building. There's enough concrete in Hoover Dam to stretch across the country. If you're looking for concrete, you'll have some luck at Hoover Dam. It has 3.25 million cubic yards, or enough concrete to build a two-lane highway all the way from New York City to San Francisco. It also weighs more than 600,000 tons. American teenage girls celebrate Sweet 16 as their major celebration on their 16th birthday. The second biggest birthday celebration in the U.S. is the 21st birthday, the age when Americans can legally drink alcohol. The oldest city in the United States is actually St. Augustine, Florida. The area was originally claimed for Spain by famed explorer Ponce de Leon in 1513. The United States took control in 1821. That's why St. Augustine is one of the 16 best U.S. cities for history buffs. The first person to step on the moon was Neil Armstrong. He did so on July 20th, 1969, as part of the Apollo 11 mission. Armstrong famously said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind as he took his first step. This marked a significant milestone in human space exploration. The top five biggest theme parks in the U.S. are all Disney. They include the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and a few others. The Magic Kingdom in Disney World, Florida, is the largest theme park in the U.S. There are more than 20 million visitors a year. Disneyland in California is the second largest theme park. It commemorates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776, which declared the original colonies to be free from British rule. The 4th of July has been a federal holiday in the United States since 1941. The country's Declaration of Independence was passed on July 2nd. It was only officially ratified on July 4th. Festivities range from fireworks, parades, and concerts to more casual family gatherings and barbecues. Harvard University, originally named Harvard College, was founded on September 8, 1636, making it the oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. It was officially founded by a vote by the Great and General Court of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. The university was named after its first benefactor, the Puritan clergyman John Harvard. Despite popular opinion and a certain statue, 
John Harvard did not found Harvard, but he was the first major benefactor and he donated half of his estate and his library of more than 400 books to the school. Actually, as of the 2019 to 2020 academic year, there were 3,982 degree granting post secondary institutions in the U.S., according to the National Center for Education Statistics. However, when considering all Title IV institutions, which include non degree granting institutions, the number increases to 5,999. Please note that these numbers are subject to change as the higher education landscape evolves. Texas and Florida are the states with the fastest growing population. With great weather and affordable prices, more Americans are moving there. Tax friendliness, both Texas and Florida have no state income tax, which can result in significant savings. Florida is currently ranked number 46, and Texas is ranked number 32 in the country for statewide taxation. Cost of living, the COVID-19 pandemic has expedited the movement of companies, households, and people from costlier regions to less costly ones. People are leaving states like California and New York to move to Florida and Texas due to lower taxation rules, better scenery, and low crime rates. The shift to remote work during the COVID-19 pandemic has allowed people to choose where they live independent of their workplace. These factors combined make Texas and Florida attractive destinations for many Americans. Alaska became a part of the United States through a treaty known as the Alaska Purchase or the Cessation of Alaska. On March 30, 1867, U.S. Secretary of State William H. Seward and Russian Envoy Baron Edouard de Stoeckel signed the Treaty of Cession. The U.S. formally took possession of Alaska on October 18, 1867, after purchasing the territory from Russia for $7.2 million, or less than two cents an acre. This purchase added 586,412 square miles of new territory to the United States. Today, Alaska is recognized for its vast natural resources and strategic location. Denali, also known as Mount McKinley, is a prominent landmark in Alaska. Denali is the highest mountain peak in North America, located in Alaska. It stands at a height of 20,310 feet above sea level. The name Denali is based on the Koyakon word for high or tall. The summit of Mount Denali is permanently covered in snow, and some of the glaciers are more than 30 miles long. The longest glacier on the mountain is Kahiltna Glacier, which is 44 miles long. The temperatures on the mountain are extremely cold, reaching negative 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The name McKinley was given to the mountain by a gold prospector in 1896, and it was adopted officially by the federal government of the U.S. in 1917. Evidence of human habitation in the Denali region has been dated to over 11,000 years ago. These facts highlight the natural beauty and historical significance of Denali. Bison, also known as North American Buffalo, are fascinating creatures. Bison are the largest mammal in North America. Male bison, called bulls, weigh up to 2,000 pounds and stand 6 feet tall, while females, called cows, weigh up to 1,000 pounds and reach a height of 4 to 5 feet. Despite their massive size, bison are quick on their feet. When the need arises, they can run at speeds up to 40 miles an hour. Bison calves, often referred to as red dogs, weigh 30, 70 pounds at birth. In prehistoric times, millions of bison roamed North America, from the forests of Alaska and the grasslands of Mexico to Nevada's Great Basin and the Eastern Appalachian Mountains. By the late 1800s, there were only a few hundred bison left in the United States after European settlers pushed west, reducing the animal's habitat and hunting the bison to near extinction. Today, Public lands managed by the Department of the Interior support 17 bison herds, or approximately 10,000 bison, in 12 states, including Alaska. Yellowstone National Park is the only place in the U.S. where bison have continuously lived since prehistoric times. The history of bison and Native Americans are intertwined. Bison have been integral to tribal culture, providing them with food, clothing, fuel, tools, shelter, and spiritual value. Niagara Falls was the first state park in the United States. In 1885, Niagara Falls State Park became the first state park established in the country. It was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, who also designed Central Park in New York City. 
Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls at the southern end of Niagara Gorge, between the Canadian province of Ontario and the U.S. state of New York. Niagara Falls is not one single fall, it's actually three. These are Horseshoe Falls, Bridal Veil Falls, and American Falls. Horseshoe Falls is the largest of the three falls and it also spans the border between New York and Ontario, Canada. Although it lies between the United States and Canada, Niagara Falls is not owned by any country. There is, however, an agreed boundary that divides the three waterfalls between the two countries. Niagara Falls is fed by the waters of the Great Lakes and is estimated to be about 12,000 years old. Five of the Great Lakes supply the waters to the falls, Huron, St. Clair, Superior, Michigan, and Erie. While not the tallest waterfall in the world, Niagara Falls likely has the highest flow rate. Over 700,000 gallons of water falls per second from its crestline. Niagara Falls itself is calculated to have moved back by 7 miles within the last 12,500 years. Niagara Falls could very well be the world's fastest moving waterfall. Stopped flowing. There were times when the waters of the Niagara stopped flowing. However, those were the times recorded in history only. These incidents occurred in 1848 and in 1969. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.